This is the Study Arcade Quick Start video for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Study Arcade, on its most basic level, is a flashcard application. However, it is also much, much more, as we'll see throughout the course of this video. Clicking on Study Arcade opens up the application. The Knowledge section contains all of our flashcards, referred to as facts within Study Arcade. Now, by pressing the plus button, we can add a new fact. Go ahead and type in Chinese as the topic. For text, I'll put the Chinese word for China. And definition, type in China. Part of speech, I'll type now. Now the only required information is the topic, foreign word, and definition. However, we also have the option to input plenty of other information, such as pictures, sounds, and tags. For a tag, I'll put place. And how about country. Now, we can see that we have one fact within our knowledge. Of course, creating all of your knowledge or things you want to study by hand would be very tiresome. So, if we go back to the main page and open up settings, Study Arcade provides a number of different services which it can synchronize with. These are online learning communities which Study Arcade can pull your flashcards from. Anki, for example, is a flashcard program. It stores all of your flashcards on the Anki website, which means that Study Arcade can use your username and password to go to Anki and download all of the flashcards in your account. You can see that I've already enabled Anki here. There are a handful of other services which could be enabled as well. Turning to settings, if I now press Synchronize Now, the application will begin connecting with Anki and downloading the first deck called My Deck. When it is done, it will import all of the facts or flashcards within the deck into the local knowledge. All information will be retained, including the definition, pronunciation, and even tags. However, at this moment, media, meaning pictures and audio, are not downloaded from the Anki server. You can see that 390 facts have been downloaded, the entirety of my Anki decks. Now, we return to the page, to the knowledge section. You can see that there are now plenty of different words, all of which came from Anki. Of course, with all of this knowledge, it could be quite difficult to keep them organized. So, Study Arcade provides a feature called filters. Clicking on the filter here, you can see that we have two options, to create a new filter or to not use a filter. If we create a new filter, let's call it Anki. The search query will be Anki. We're not limiting ourselves to any topics or any parts of speech. We're saying that the card can, or fact can have been created any time with no maximum number of results. Now, we can choose the Anki filter and we will only retrieve those facts which match the search query Anki. Now, of course, 390 of the 391 facts match this query. You see, when, on, when the facts were downloaded from the Anki server, the tag Anki was added to the fact. However, we can then go and change our filter so instead of searching for Anki, we search for insurance. And now, we get only those words which mean insurance, are tagged with the word insurance, or similar. Now, we can return to the beginning. Now that we have plenty of facts to study, let's look at actually studying the facts in our knowledge. But first, Let's take a look at the one other setting, the fact selection technique. This is used when we are studying within Study Arcade. By default, it is currently set to random, which means that facts are selected at random when we study. However, by clicking on this, we can select between the two currently available fact selection techniques, random and test cramming. More techniques are soon to come. Test cramming chooses those facts which are the most difficult to you, 
In other words, the facts you've had the most trouble with. So let's choose the test cramming fact selection technique. And return to the main screen, then click on play. Currently there's only one game, really just a flashcard application. By clicking on it, we open up the settings page. It should be mostly self-explanatory in terms of the text is on the front, the definition is not, pronunciation is also on the back, the readings on the back, the sound is on the back, pictures on the back, and sounds and pictures are not automatically played when the card appears. However, we can also choose from our filters that we created earlier so that instead of studying all facts, we choose just that filter which we created earlier. Now let's go ahead and start playing the game. Here we have our flashcard on the front of the foreign text. Now if we click show the back of the card, you can see the pronunciation and the definition. Then asks us to rate our understanding from impossible to easy. Go ahead and select easy. This level of understanding is how the fact selection techniques are able to make intelligent decisions about which cards to select. The other pieces of the interface allow us to switch from the front to the back of the card, skip words, and so on. And there you have it, a simple flashcard application.